What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jess. And first off, I want to go on ahead and thank uh, Guinness Book of Records for adding me for being the first person to ever get so far in the first four weeks of the National Football League each and every single pick right. It's crazy. Let's see if the streak continues. Thursday, which is tonight, we have the 49ers versus the Arizona Cardinals. No, no need to even explain on who I think is going to win. The 49ers easily win this game. In fact, I don't even think there's going to be a game. I truly believe that the Arizona Cardinals are so afraid of facing the Navarro bowman list 49ers that they don't even show up. And we end up winning by default, and uh, that's how that goes. Uh, we lost Navarro Bowman. At this point, I'm just hoping we lose every single game. Let's just be honest. Let's <laughs> A top pick does us way better than us winning five games this year and us getting a sixth overall pick, a fourth overall pick. No, no. We need help, and we need help bad. As much as I would love for my team to win, I don't see it happening. We lost Navarro Bowman. We lost the heart and soul of our defense. And we, for the first time this year, you're going to hear me say that the 49ers are not going to win. I have the Arizona Cardinals in this game. I'm actually hoping we lose. I'm hoping we lose every other game here on out. Because, again, realistically, there's no point in us winning five games or four games or three. There's no point. No point. 1-15, and 2-14. and 14. Let's make it happen. We need a lot of help. This is clearly a rebuilding stage for us. We need help on both sides of the ball. And I don't even watch college football. I don't even know who's out there. Maybe you guys could leave in the comment section on somebody that would really help us out. But, um, you know, for... Uh, oh my goodness, we just need help. We just need help, and and I need us to give it. I really need us to get a top pick in the draft, unless for some watch watch somebody in the comment section say, "Gs, bro, y'all traded away y'all 2017 first round draft pick back in December of 2008 to the Lions." Like, huh, you guys don't watch us not even have our first round draft pick, but we we need a franchise player. We need a quarterback. We're okay at running back. We need some wide receivers. We we definitely could use another tight end. We need a middle linebacker to go along with Navarro Bowman. <coughs> we we just need a lot of help, man. The Cardinals win this game and um, get one game closer to the division leaders who are both the Rams and the Seahawks. But the Rams have the tiebreaker since they beat Seahawks and head-to-head so far. So uh, the Patriots versus Browns. Uh, the Patriots, they have Tom Brady coming back. No need to even discuss why the Patriots are going to win. The Eagles against the Lions. We have the Eagles defeating the Lions here. The Eagles have been looking really, really good. And the Lions are just, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe if they had that, that monster of a Calvin Johnson. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, there's going to be a Lions fan out there who's going to say in the comment section, at least they're better than the Niners. You're right. <clears throat> You're right. Every team in this league is better than the Niners, except the Browns. Except the Browns. That's the only team. I don't give a damn. You can't convince me otherwise other than that. But I have the Eagles winning, man. Wentz is looking really, really solid. Uh, the Eagles defense has been playing great, and I, I have them winning. The Bears and the Colts, we're going to go We're gonna go with the Colts on this one. I, I, I still think Andrew Luck is uh, in, in just – a very, very, very uh, special weapon at the quarterback position. And um, <coughs> I think their offense will uh, come to light against the Bears defense, who, you know, Bears defense is just probably as good as the 49ers defense right now. <laughs> uh, but we have the Colts winning that game. The Titans at the Dolphins. We're going to go with the Dolphins on this one, like with the Dolphins uh, against the Titans. DeMarco Murray has been playing well lately. But I got a I got a gut feeling that these Dolphins are going to come uh, victorious. Not exactly sure what the situation is. I, I believe they're at home. Um, I, I know there's uh, I think there's like some type of hurricane going on out there in, in uh, Florida. You know, prayers are definitely out there, right? Isn't there um, like a hurricane in a few other places, right? Isn't 
for, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't know. I haven't really read up on it too much. And I'm way in Connecticut, so I don't believe it's anywhere near us. But I believe it's in the East Coast. <clears throat> I believe I've seen on Twitter people in Florida saying, I think it's like Hurricane Matthew or something like that. Again, I this is something I should know, but I haven't really looked into it. Uh, but I believe it's in uh, Florida somewhere. So no matter where it's at, just pray for safety. No matter, I don't give a damn where, where it's at. Just hope you know nobody gets uh, you know hurt or anything like that. But we got the Dolphins in that one. The Redskins versus the three and run Ravens. The Ravens end up losing against the Raiders, which I predicted last week. We're going to go with the Redskins on this one. Uh, just think the Redskins, you know, Matt Jones finally got it together. A really good week last week. Hundred, I believe 121 rushing yards or something like that on the ground. <coughs> finally getting it together. And I think the Redskins have a, have a good offense. Jordan Reed had two touchdowns last week. Um, and I, I like what they have to offer on offense. And I think if Matt Jones can consistently get them 70, 80, 90, 100 yards, I think they, they can cause some problems in that um, NFC East. So we got the Redskins on that one. Texans versus the Vikings. We're going to go with the Texans on this one. Now, I know the Vikings have been looking really good. <coughs> but I just think that the Texans defense is, I mean, they don't have J.J. Swizzle, though. You know, should I should I just you know no I gotta go with my first pick. I, my first pick is is the Texans. I like the Texans to win this one to go on ahead and stop the uh, this four zero run that I don't give a damn who you are. Nobody expected except probably a Vikings fan. I'm gonna go with the Texans on this one. The Steelers against the Jets. We're gonna go with the Steelers. We are going to see if this boy Fitzpatrick is going to continue. Is, is he even playing still? Is, like does he still have a job? I don't even know. Again, I haven't really looked into it. I've been too busy posting damn videos to look at the damn Jets uh, depth chart. I do know that he has thrown three interceptions in back-to-back -back games. So, uh, if he is starting, <coughs> look for the Steelers to make it three in a row. We'll try to. The Falcons against the Broncos. This is a good game. But I think that the Broncos have the best defense in the NFL. The Falcons have arguably one of the best weapons in the NFL. It, well, you could say the same for Denver with Von Miller. But offensively, and <coughs> Julio Jones, Julio Jones had 300 yards last week. Don't at me on Twitter. Julio Jones doesn't surpass 100 yards this game. Don't at me on Twitter. I think there's a very good combination of cornerbacks that they have over there in Denver. Um, you know, you have Tlaib, you have uh, Harris, you have... <coughs> you have a good secondary. You have a very good pass rush that's going to go on ahead and force, uh, you know, maybe about five to ten throws that entire game that's going to be forced a second earlier than it needs to. And Denver defense is usually good on, on being able to, uh, you know, cause just havoc. And I like Denver in this game. Cowboys versus the Bengals. And the Cowboys are 3-1. and one. The Bengals are 2-2. Two and two. Bengals, very good front defensive line, but we like the Cowboys on this one. We like the Cowboys to go on ahead and go up 4-1. to one. The Bills and the Rams. Usually, I would go on ahead and just go with my heart, and I would say the Bills, and I say with my heart, because the Rams are in the NFC West, which happens to be the same division that my 49ers are in. <clears throat> and obviously, I don't want no team to have success within that division other than my team. You know, I would want the uh, 49ers to, you know, hopefully win. The rest of the division loses. That way we can climb and see what we can do. But uh, doesn't matter because we stink. But I'm still going to go with the Bills on this one because the Rams, I, I just, I can't go for another team in the division, man. And if I did it this year, I wasn't thinking. If I said so in, in one of the other weeks, I wasn't thinking properly. I can't go for a team within my division, man. I just, I just can't. Raiders and the Chargers. Raiders. 40, I mean, uh, Giants and the Packers. Now, we're going to go with the Packers. Now, OBJ has had some uh, has had some controversy going around. And and because of his meltdowns that he's been having lately, you know, and uh, uh, so far with Xavier Rhodes and what's been happening, uh, what happened last week versus the Vikings and him having, I think, three receptions for like 37 yards or Something, you know, crazy like that. Uh, a lot of things floating around him about him not having fun anymore, playing football, and just a lot, a lot of, <coughs> a 
a lot of extraness going into that going into this game that the Giants are dealing with. Uh, but nonetheless, I still like the Packers this Sunday night. I think the Packers have one of the best offenses in the uh, NFL. They're coming off of a bye week, so they, you know they got some some extra rest. They're not as banged up as the Giants are going into this game. So I like the Packers. We have the one and three Buccaneers versus the one and three Panthers. This game, I would like to think the the balance of the rest of the season depends on this game for the Panthers. The Panthers go one and four. I do not see them making the playoffs. If they go two and three, they can scratch and claw their way back into getting themselves where they need to be. So come postseason, they have a spot. It's a possibility they can make that happen. Considering, in my opinion, this is a do or die game. Now I don't know. I'm not. I don't know what the numbers are for teams that are one and four making the playoffs. I don't know. I'm sure it's probably happened before. I don't know what, what the chances are. But you just don't want to be in that situation. And I truly believe this is a do-or-die game for the Panthers. I believe they come out strong, and they come out beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So to go on ahead and go over the picks, we have the Cardinals over the Niners, Patriots over the Browns, Eagles over the Lions, Colts over the Bears, Dolphins over the Titans, Redskins over the Ravens, Texans over the Vikings, Steelers over the Jets, Broncos over the Falcons, Cowboys over the Bengals, Bills over the Rams, Raiders over the Chargers, Packers over the Giants, and the Panthers over the Buccaneers. Let me know in the comment section, man, what games you guys don't agree with my picks and why. It's your boy, Jess Mel. We'll see you guys next video. Peace! Shout out to us being up 6-0. Matter of fact, let me quit the game now. That way, at least I can say my 49ers won something. Let me, let me go ahead and quit this game. Should we beat the Cardinals? You can't tell me nothing.